Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Ritu Kapoor Classes and today in this video we are going to discuss about multi-valued attributes. Now this was a doubt for some of the viewers so I thought of creating a small video on multi-valued attributes although I had discussed it in uh, another video which is uh, the detailed vid video on how to represent ER diagrams. I put the link of that video in the description box below. So let's dive into multi-valued attributes today. Let's see what are multi-valued attributes. suggests multi-valued attributes right multi-valued what does multi-valued means so it means basically attributes which can take multiple values okay now let's see the definition first the definition says an attribute having multiple values linked with the key of the entity set so that means first of all you need to know what is the key of the entity set entity set is synonymous to a database table right so you need to find out the key of the database table that you're considering and then in correspondence to that you might have some attributes which are taking multiple values examples of such attributes are often we write hobbies we write uh, sports played by a person or courses opted by a student so all these attributes may take multiple values right for example a student may opt for multiple courses a student may opt for multiple sports in his school. Person may have multiple hobbies, right? So all those are the examples. Now I'm going to discuss an example by taking a full-fledged example, uh, like by taking a uh, table and then describing you. So as you can see, this is a table. Okay, I've named it as person table, right? Because it is just generic information about different people, right? So as you can see over here, we have records of three people over here, Ritu, Ajay, Mrunal, and we have four attributes. We have name, hobby, age, and gender, okay? So I forgot to write the name of the table here. Yeah, so that's the name of the table and also the entity or the entity set right because it has multiple entities over here so uh, as you can see there are three names Ritu, Ajay and Mrunal but they are getting repeated now why are they getting repeated because you for every person you have multiple hobbies over here Ritu has two hobbies teaching and singing Ajay has two hobbies gymming and running Mrunal has one one hobby gymming now Mrunal may have multiple hobbies but for the sake of this example I've taken just a single hobby here to uh, like inform you that it's not necessary that if it is a multi valued attribute every like it it has multiple values for every key element right so if you see the key of this table what would be the key of this table so name is the key of the table 
okay so why is name the key of this table it's because if i want to identify this information or if i want to group this information how would i group this information or how would i differentiate the information present in this table from each other so i can easily say that this table is comprising the records of three people ritu ajay and runal okay and therefore i can easily identify these three people by using their name because i cannot say like none of the people are having the same name right so i it's easily it can be seen that the first two records are of ritu sec next two records are of ajay and last record is of nunal okay uh nevertheless i should also say that this is not a good design of a table and therefore uh, normalization came into picture and you you can see lots of my lectures on normalization and like if we normalize this table just to give, give you a quick uh, review the thumb rule is that you need to separate the multi valued attribute and the key as one table and the next uh, the other table will be the remaining attributes and the key so that would help you to uh, reduce the redundancy to a great extent right because here if you see just because of the repetition and hobby Uh, not the reputation actually but just because the multi valued nature of hobby age and gender are being repeated right i had to write age and gender twice which memory or which the storage could be saved this redundancy could be reduced if i was writing it in a separate table right so uh, that is how would uh, like that is how will actually represent this table but just for uh, making you uh, help understand the difference between a multi valued attribute and uh, a non multi valued attribute or a singular valued attribute i have given this example also another important thing is that initially when you get data it is generally in this form and then you you know normalize the tables and bring it into good form so it's also very important to know how you uh, like get the data in raw form and then how you convert it into a good form okay okay coming back to the problem as you can see hobby is multi valued because it is having two values for ritu two values for ajay and one value for nunal so it's not necessary that for every record now it will have multiple values no it's not necessary however if you see age is having the same value for ritu and from same value i mean it, uh, like over all the records of ritu it's having the same value 30 similarly for ajay it is having the same value 25 for nunal it is having the same value 24 similarly for gender all the values as you can see they are every key value is attached with a singular value right so let's put it in this manner that every key value is attached with a singular value of this attribute therefore this is a single valued attribute whereas for every key value hobby is attached with or for every key value hobby has multiple values okay so for every key value hobby has multiple values attached to it so therefore it is a multi valued attribute okay now coming to its representation how do we represent a multi valued attribute attribute in er right in er diagrams so in an er diagram this is how we we'll represent the person entity set first of all so it had four attributes so name hobby age gender name is the primary key so it has an underline over here and for a multi valued attribute we represent it as double ovals or double ellipses as you can see over here and rest of the attributes are represented with a single ellipse or a single oval so that's all for a multi valued attribute i hope uh, you were able to understand this concept and you would have li liked this video it's a quick revision short video so i'll also be putting it as shorts so that you can revise all these concepts uh, in quick manner uh, i hope you liked this video in case you did please press the like icon below also subscribe for more such knowledgeable videos coming up please drop in any of your feedback or uh, comments in the comment section below also let me know 
which videos you would like me to bring on next in the channel. Thank you so much and happy learning.